Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take apart the Marlin Glenfield Model 60. Now, this is probably the most popular rifle of its type, and there's probably more of those, more of these rifles out there than any other type. So, the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is check and make sure that the gun is not loaded. And you can see this gun is a very nice gun here, all the way from the wooden stock to the end of the barrels. Very nice workmanship on these rifles. Next I'm going to take out my loading tube here and make sure there is nothing in the loading tube and I'll set that off to the side. You can see there's a little bit of cleaning that needs to be done on that. Now to take the gun apart there are two screws one here and the other right here behind the trigger guard. So I'm just going to use my flat screwdriver here and remove each screw and that's really the only thing that's holding the stock to the gun very simple disassembly on this one once I get the two screws out the stock will come right off the gun and you can see let me put this screw off to the side here you can see that this one hasn't been cleaned in a while and it's got a little dirt in there so I'm going to take some air and just blow out the inside of the stock here where the trigger mechanism is and then I can start working on my actual gun here. Now you, I'm going to take these screws out. You can see there's a screw on this side here. And it's real short. So the other side needs to be pushed out. It's like a pin. So once I get that out, the back end of the trigger assembly is done. Then there's other two other screws on the front. And those are just short ones. Turn it over here and we can get to the other side. And I'll take out the front screw. Once I get that out, the trigger assembly will pop right out. Slides right out like that. Next, I'm going to take my slide out, and to do that, I just pull back on it, and the slide handle, if you pull slightly up on the slide, the slide handle will pull out. It's in a little notch here. It just slides right in. So I pull up slightly on my slide, and my slide handle comes up. Once I have that done, I just gently take it out because my recoil spring is under tension. You see my recoil spring here and my guide rod, so I'll take those off as well. Now I can take my clean patch, get my cleaning solution, and the first thing I'm going to do is run it down the barrel. What this does is get some cleaning solution all the way down the barrel. It works in the cleaning solution in all the grooves all the way down the barrel. And once I get that worked in all the way, I'm going to come back in with my bronze brush. And what this is going to do is allow the cleaning solution to work inside the barrel. Break loose anything that might be in there. Um, any lead that might have melted in there. Any dirt, debris. It's going to break it loose. Next, I'm going to come back in with my clean patch. And run that down the barrel all the way to the end. And I'm going to keep doing that same process until I come out with a clean patch. So I'm going to run another clean patch in the end of the barrel all the way down. And I'm going to do it another time. Take another clean patch and run that down the barrel. And when that comes out, I think that'll be pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean the inside here of the slide. So I'll put a little solution in there and get my, I'm going to use a nylon brush. Start out with my nylon brush and just scrub around the inside area there. And then I want to get in where the slide handle goes back and forth. Make sure I get all the corners real good. I'm wiping my cleaning solution around real good. Then I'm going to take a rag and wipe it off so I can get a good look and see what it looks like. It looks like there's a spot up here that needs to be cleaned off, so I'm going to make sure i got good coverage of my cleaning solution all the way around here. And just use a Q-tip for that. I want to make sure I don't leave any Q-tip residue on it. But I see a spot up here that I can't get out, so I'm going to use a little pick and just kind of gently scrape at it. I don't want to dig into the metal or anything, but I want to get all the black crud off of there, if you will, and just kind of work that out. It's kind of not been cleaned some time so you can see here how much 
I've actually got out there's quite a bit of stuff that just came out of there. So then I can get my air hose and I'm going to blow that out and then I'll wipe it off. Next I'm going to come in with my gun oil and I'll put a little of that on there and I'll take a Q-tip and make sure that I coat all the surfaces in the chamber here. And I'm going to start on my slide. So I'm going to take the spring and guide rod out and I'm going to wipe all the excess off of the outside of this because it's really dirty. Just make it easier to clean. Then I can take my gun cleaning solution and go around with my nylon brush once again, scrubbing all the cracks and crevices out. Make sure I break loose anything that might be down in all the little cracks and crevices. I use nylon brush, it doesn't have to be too aggressive. The gun cleaning solution does a real good job. There's a lot of them out there that you can use. Once I get done, I'm going to take my rag and wipe off all the excess. I tend to use quite a bit so I can get it uh, real clean. Now I'm going to use my air, blow out any excess cleaning solution and wipe it off once again and then I will come back in with my gun cleaning oil and grab a Q-tip here and I'll wipe it around all the slide areas and wipe it around the surface and then I'll take my recoil spring here, I just want to get all the excess off of it and gently wipe the dirt off of it and my guide rod for my recoil spring. Then I'm going to wipe off my handle here. And that's pretty simple, just to wipe it off. My next step is going to be to clean out the trigger assembly. And I'm gonna douse that down with my cleaning solution. And again, come in with my nylon brush until I'm satisfied with how clean I've got it. And I wanna work the small end of the brush down in all the areas. Now there's a few springs in here. You wanna make sure you don't get too aggressive around the springs or you'll have a a little bit more difficult time putting this thing back together. It's not necessary to take all that apart for what we're doing here. Then I'm going to come in with my air and blow out all the excess and wipe off the outside of the trigger assembly. And there we have that real good and clean. So I can use my gun oil to put in all the working areas here and then use a Q-tip to make sure I work it into all the cracks and crevices in the trigger assembly and that's pretty much it. So we'll start reassembly now with the slide. So I'm going to put the spring in and the guide rod goes in the end of the spring here. And this is where the slide handle goes. It's going to sit right here. You can see where it slides back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and put the slide back in. So this pin fits right into the back here and I'll put this in the bottom once I get the slide in. So I'm going to take my guide rod here. Let me compress the spring a little bit, put the guide rod into the hole. Then I will pull back on my slide. Once I get that slide in, you can see it slides back and forth. Now I can lift it up slightly. It only needs to be lifted up like a quarter inch. Let me turn this over so you can see what I'm doing here. I lift that up just a little bit and my slide handle will slide in to a little slot here. So I'll put that in and then I can push my slide up to the top and it should be locked into place. And I'm going to push that so you can see it goes back and forth and that's how it locks. So I'll push it up and push it in and it'll lock the slide back. So I've got that put back together and it looks like it operates real well. So my next thing is the trigger assembly and I'll put that up into the barrel here. I'm going to start by putting my two front screws in. I'm not going to put them in real, real tight, but I'll put them in kind of snug because this trigger assembly is going to pivot back and forth on them until I get the back. See how it pivots right here? Until I get the back bolt in. This one slides all the way through. And then I have to turn over the gun here and put the short screw in on the other side. And once I get that done, I'll go ahead and tighten all the screws around. And then I can come back in with my stock here. And all I do is set the barrel inside the stock. And replace the two screws that I took out. And I want to start those by hand so that I don't get make sure that I don't get them cross-threaded. I typically do that with all the screws that I put in. Just gently start them, get a couple threads started. And I can tighten up my screws now.
Okay, now that I have the gun reassembled, I can go ahead and use the air gun, because like I said, I, I like to use a lot of oil, but now I can blow out all the excess oil and I'll take a rag and wipe the exterior of the gun down. This leaves a nice coating of gun oil on the gun. Sure doesn't hurt, the slide works real nice. So now I'm gonna get my loader tube here and you can see it's spring loaded. Um, put a little gun cleaning solution on there and gently scrub it down. Doesn't take much on this, it's not real dirty. And then I'll go ahead and wipe down the loading tube once I get done here. Just run the rag down the loading tube and that's pretty much all there is to cleaning this. So I can go ahead and put the loader tube back in the gun here. And that's how you clean a Marlin Model 60. I'm How-To Bob. Thanks for watching.